The National Library of Medicine has recently redesigned its PubMed interface to simplify searching operations within the database. This tutorial will illustrate how this redesign affects downloading of records to Reference Manager. Once we have done a search, we then can select the citations that we want to import into our Reference Manager database. Clicking on the box beside each citation selects the citation. We then want to stipulate how these citations will be sent from the Medline database. Click on the link of Send To and choose File. The format for the citations in this file needs to be the Medline format, which is the required format for any PubMed citation. So we're going to change it from the summary text format in PubMed to the Medline format. And then click on the Create File button. A file download dialog box will open up. We click Save. And then we can stipulate where we want to save this file. I'm going to save it on the desktop. And I'm going to give it a more meaningful name than the PubMed default name of PubMed underscore result. Click Save, and now this file of Medline citations is stored on my desktop in the Medline format, ready to be imported into my Reference Manager database. After opening my Reference Manager database, I click on File, and under File, choose Import Text File. Now my file is ready to be imported into the Reference Manager database. I need, need to choose the appropriate filter. In this case, I want to choose the PubMed filter, so I click on the searching button, search through all of the filters that are available within Reference Manager, choose PubMed, click Open, and then I'm going to find where my file is located. Again, clicking on the searching button next to File, choosing the statins text file of the citations that I have downloaded from the PubMed database. Click open. And now my citations are ready to be imported into my Reference Manager database. <laughs>